You guys have rung the doorbell to Death's abode, and I have answered. I am Death! Or maybe life today, because we're going to be playing some co-op mode. Oh, -ho -ho! so we're just going to do a quick match over here. I'm going to play any type of map, easy or medium, baby. So let's see if somebody is actually playing co-op right now. Honestly, I have no... Oh, looks like we do. We find a game actually pretty quickly. So it looks like co-op mode is slightly more popular than I might have thought. So we got North Pole on the medium with player right now. Mm-hmm, I see. All right, so we got $590 over here. I'm going to steal all the money from this, ho this home slice right here. I'm going to steal it all, baby. I'm going to go... Mm, what can I put right here? <gasps> Indeed, I can. Let's go. Let's go. Speed this up. So I don't even know if this guy's going to play or not. Um, <laughs> I don't even... Oh, there we go. He's actually... What? He's going to do a banana farm already? This is ridiculous. So here, here's the thing, guys. I have not... Um, so can I put, on, put this on non-stop mode? I don't think I can. Um, I guess it's turned off for this mode. This is kind of interesting. I don't know. I, I, have, n I have not played... Oh, my God. This guy is rid a ridiculous farmer over there. So I've not played co-op mode in an extremely, extremely long time. I have, I've had no real reason to want to play co-op mode. And then recently, my subscribers, you guys, were like, Hey, man, Chris, you should play some co-op. It's a pretty fun thing to do. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but if you, if you play co-op mode... So, yeah, if you play co-op mode, you can have fun, and other people are going to maybe suck, and you're going to have like a hard time actually beating it. And it seems like this, the exact opposite is actually happening. This guy is farming like a ridiculous fiend. So can I ask for money? Uh, request money. Request the money. Request the money. Give me money, my friend. I want... Oh, he did. He's so nice. Oh, my God. He gave me money. What a nice little feller. What a nice little feller over there. Give me money. Request the money. <laughs> so also, I seem to be the round doer. I am the the round master over here. So why do we have lives? Why do you have to I don't, I don't understand. I'm very confused about a lot of co-op stuff. If you guys haven't realized this by now, um, I guess he probably has premiums on. I think that's what's going on. And if he has premiums, it allows him to get all these delicious banana farms like crazy. I don't think... Are we, we're not getting double money. No, no, no. We're not getting double money or anything like that. But we are getting extra life. So he's definitely got some sort of premiums on or premiums on that allows him to, uh, uh, you know, get bank over there. Um, it's just kind of weird, because I'm not sure if the the premiums affect me all that much. Um, seemingly, no. It seems like he's got the premiums, but I do not. But it seems like when I was playing a long time ago, which, again, it's been an extremely long time since I've played any real co-op with people, um, I, I, used to, I, I used to not be able to... Um, I don't know, I used, I used to get the premiums, but I used to not want them, of course. I was the type of guy that I'd be like, no, guys, I can do this without any special upgrades, without any special items, without anything ridiculous like that. I can do this. I can manage it by myself. And and now I'm just, I'm curious a little bit. So it seems like this guy's computer is a little bit slower than mine. So if you guys haven't noticed it by yet, by now, um, after each round, it usually takes him like an extra second or whatnot for his round to finish. So, uh, it doesn't allow me to press the go button yet, because his game has not finished the game yet. So, oh no, don't tell me it's, like, broken. No! Let's upgrade to Sharp Shurikens. I don't know what's going on right now, but I cannot press the next wave. There we go, finally! Oops, I got the wrong upgrade again. So, again, we're getting 500 lives right now. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how many lives we have. This guy's kind of lazy, though. I don't know what he's doing. Why doesn't he press the next round? Hmm a little angry. So I'm trying to farm as well, and I'm also trying to get enough defense to defend all this stuff. So I don't know if he's just going to pop some ridiculous super monkey plasma robo or something like that pretty quickly in here. He might. He might very well do that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to at least get double shot over here. I'm going to get another banana farm. Let's see. Let's see if he'll give me some more money. Oh, he's got a... Oh my god. Request me some monies. Give me... Oh, request me some monies, baby. Oh my god, no. He didn't give me very much monies at all. I don't think he gave me any. He's got not ten thousand. He's got ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my god! This guy is ridiculous. This guy's absolutely ridiculous. That's the best way to put it. It's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna pop a, another sniper in here, by the way. I'm gonna get full model jacket, a lead pop and power guy over there. And oh, I think he gave me some money finally. There we go. All right. So he gave me some money finally. Now we got a fourth tier banana farm. Um, let's request some more money. Request. 
will he re deny my request or grant my request? It doesn't really matter all that much, because I think we're almost to the point where we've got enough money to actually get ourselves through the game. Now keep in mind that we've only built... Oh, there we go. We see a super monkey popping out from this guy. A robo monkey popping out from this guy. You know, kind of as expected. Uh, oh, he gets a technological terror on round 32. So obviously this is this is one of those boss co-op players that I've seen in a long time. Do I think I could get a medal for this too. I haven't gotten any co-op medals, like almost at all. I haven't really been trying to get a lot of co-op medals, though. That's just never been my goal. Um, so two technological terrors. This guy is ridiculous. Now, the only thing that I really wish that they put in the game is they put it in a non-stop mode. Um, again, I don't believe that you can do non-stop. It looks like they stopped the non-stop mode over there. And it's really hard to tell when the round ends. And then another issue is, is that I have to press the wave. But if he presses the wave at the same time, then it turns to not, not only not sped up, but turns into... Um, slowed down, so it, like slows it down, and like I'm like worried if I should press the next wave, and we're destroying everything so quickly that I can't really tell when I'm supposed to press the next wave. On top of that, the stupid thing is loading all the time. Like what? <laughs> so at this point, we are nearly unstoppable with three crazy technological terrors. You know what I could do? I could be evil. Do you guys want me to be evil? I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try and be a little bit evil over here. I'm gonna steal all of his money. Um. See if I can make this happen. So what I'm gonna do here, guys? Oh wait, wait, wait! I don't have enough money yet. I need to wait for a few more seconds. So let's get one more banana farm. <laughs> the evilness that will happen is just—I'm just gonna—I'm laughing at it already. I don't even know if this is actually gonna work out the way I want it to, but I'm thinking that it will. Never done this before. Um. I don't think it'll cause me to lose, but if it does, I, th I think that would actually be kind of funny. <laughs> you guys might know what's going on, what's going on in my brain right now. Uh, basically because of the super monkey over there. So we need a little bit more money than this. So, I don't know, it would be really, really cool if we could absorb all of his banana farms, but I don't think that's going to be possible. I think what we're just going to do is we're just going to absorb all of his uh, technological tears. So also keep in mind that we have 14,881 lives at this point. And we have a nearly unstoppable technological terror army. Now, how much money does he have? He's got only. Fi oh wait, he's got a. He's got hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars. Where is he getting all this money from? Like I have almost more banana farms than him at this point. All right, so let's get a monkey village. We're gonna get the super monkey, pop it as close as I possibly can to his side, and then we're gonna get a sun god. Oh, we can afford it, but we need to first of all get the. Um. Jungle Drums upgrade. Yeah, let's do that. Jungle Drum. Let's do extra super range. Now, what could we absorb? <laughs> Whoa, do it. Whoa. Oh, it didn't absorb all this stuff. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad right now, guys. I totally thought that I was going to absorb all of his stuff. And I was going to be completely evil. And, and steal everything. Oh, well, you know, obviously this is a learning experience right here, guys. The temple does not absorb your opponents, or not even your opponents, your cooperative, your partner, I guess, is the best way to put it. It does not absorb your partner's um, towers. So that's kind of a negative in some aspects, but it's also a positive in the fact that if somebody was trying to screw me over, they could not. Now, I was trying to screw this guy over a little bit, like I was trying to steal some of his stuff and everything, but at this point he had so much money, he could just rebuy everything really, really quickly, and it wouldn't have been that all, all that big of a deal. And I wouldn't have done it twice. I would have only done it once max. And right now, I have... Oh, did he give me all of his money? He did! He gave... What a nice guy! He gave me all of his money. What am I going to do with it all? Um, let's get... Let's get, you know what, let's get to the, uh, the spamming over here, guys. We're gonna get a ton of robo-monkeys. spam -erific. I think he just wants me to finish the game for him. He's like, oh, go play for it for me, buddy. Go play for it. Technological terrors, technological terrors, technological terrors. More technological terrors. Oh my god, how many, how many can we fit in here? Oh my god, they're everywhere, guys. They're everywhere. This looks kind of cool, though. So this is actually a, a surprisingly interesting way to get the most temples on the map ever. I've never thought about that. 
But if I co-opt with somebody, we could line up all of our temples in the middle of the map and, and kind of have them overlap each other and go to a later game than we normally would. Now, I don't know, I don't know, but I've heard that the, uh, that the helicopter moving temples thing got changed so you can't do it anymore. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I believe it. I believe that you can't do it anymore. So, if that's the truth, then this would be the way to get the most temples on the map that you possibly can. Also, with no glitches. Like, this is, this is like, the way the game is supposed to be played. You're, so, you're supposed to um, not absorb your opponent's stuff. Now, keep in mind that you also have to be able to, you know, fit as many as you can on your side of the map, and you still have to, um, you know, fit a lot of uh, sacrifices inside of this thing and everything. But, even so it would be interesting to check that out. Now, this would not be a good level for it, I don't think. Because there's not that much space in the... I mean, I guess there is a reasonable amount of space in the middle. I guess, actually, it wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad at all. I mean, you could probably fit a pretty decent amount of temples. You could fit, like, at least one... One, maybe two... Probably three right down the middle. So that would be six, hopefully, down the middle. If all goes according to plan. And then it just depends if how many you can build on your side. So yeah, I don't know. It probably wouldn't be a perfect level for this, but you could probably find a pretty easy level to do that. So anyways, it looks like we're going to take this guy down, obviously, super duper easily. Round 64 was a breeze, and round 65 will be just as breezelicious for us. Easy, breezy, cover girl. Um, it's just one of the longer maps, of course. So, you know, a few more Robo Monkeys if we want to. So let's see, can we absorb a new temple? We can, so you can absorb your temples. Just checking that out, just making sure. And we did it! You and a player completed this track on medium two tokens and 250 bucks so do i want to keep playing in free play he probably does i don't um but that was kind of fun that was actually kind of fun to play co-op with somebody like i said it wasn't like you know purposely done or anything like that it was just uh, with a random person but it's surprisingly fun and and very very ridiculously easy this guy just farmed like crazy right from the get-go and got a technological terror on round like what 32 or something like that like that's just ridiculous man so if you guys enjoyed this weird little video make sure you press the like button for me i do appreciate those and have a super duper delicious day